In this problem, we're told a helicopter is ascending vertically with a speed of 5.1 meters per second. At a height of 105 meters above the earth, a package is dropped from the window. How much time does it take for the package to reach uh, the ground? And then we're told uh, V sub zero for the package equals the speed of the helicopter. And so before we start the problem, let's just write down what's given. So we're told right off the bat that V sub zero for the package equals the speed of the helicopter. So V sub zero is gonna be equal to the speed of the helicopter, which is ascending vertically with a speed of 5.1 meters per second. So V sub zero is gonna be 5.1 meters per second. We're also told that at a height of 105 meters above the earth, a package is dropped from the window. So we've got our helicopter. I'm just gonna draw a car because I can't draw a helicopter. But it has a package and then it falls down 105 meters. So the change in the position of the package is 105 meters and it's going down, right? So it's gonna be negative. So delta y is gonna be minus 105 meters. So the change in our package is 105 meters. Uh, we also have to take into account acceleration, right? So acceleration is gonna be acting on our package. It's gonna be going down at minus 9.8 meters per second squared, which is something you have to know, right? And then what we're trying to solve for is time, right? So it says, how much time does it take to reach the ground? So time, that's what we're solving for. And so now we've got our givens. Let's decide which formula to use. So we know it's gonna have delta y. So the first one doesn't work. And we know it's gonna have to have acceler acceleration. So that's not gonna work. And then we're solving for t, right? And the last one doesn't contain t. So it's not gonna be that one. So we're gonna be using three. And three has a delta x in it. Just pretend it's delta y. It works the same way. So delta x, which is, or delta y in our case is minus 105 equals v sub zero, which is 5.1 zero times t plus one half times a which is minus 9.8 times t squared so minus 9.8 times one half is minus 4.9 times t squared and so if we want to solve for t you should notice that this is like a quadratic equation so you can add 105 to this side and it's going to be in the form like you just move this out there but it's going to basically be in the form of a quadratic equation and so i'm not going to show you how or walk you through how to solve this but a quick way to do this would just be to graph it on your graphing calculator and then if you graph this you can find uh, where it crosses the x-axis and that's essentially going to be your t value uh it's going to cross through twice right because it's quadratic but keep in mind that time can only be positive in the real world no such thing as negative time so it's going to have to be positive and if you went ahead and did that you'd get that the value uh, of this is going to be 5.5.18. 5 so time is going to be equal to 5.18, and we've been using meters in seconds, right? So it's going to be in seconds. So how much time does it take for the package to reach the ground? Uh, the answer is going to be 5.18 seconds. And so yeah, that's how you solve this problem.